Welcome back to my latest nine ball breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. Smash that like and subscribe to the channel to support me and support the channel, support the YouTube algorithm, all of the above, and share, comment, you know, all that stuff, you know, contributes to the community in which we reside within, so to speak. So anyway, this rack was interesting because some interesting combo shots and a bank shot. Spoiler alert, stay to the end because a twist occurs. And a question, I do have a question about one of the shots toward the, toward the end of this rack. And here we make one, one uh, ball on the break. And I just want to hit this one ball into the corner and withdraw so it goes off the rail and sits there for the two. And here I got an angle, so the cue ball is going to go down table. So I'm using um, low left on this. pretty solidly there too and it looks like it yeah it came like perfect where perfect spot so interesting that that actually worked to get the cue ball to go exactly where I wanted it to that never happens um now I gotta hit this is a three-way combo the three into the seven into the four So this is uh, this is always an interesting thing because you're literally controlling four balls at once. So I want the cue ball to kind of stay there. At first, I was gonna try to roll it forward a little bit so that it's above the nine, so that because I figured the three is gonna cut off the seven. It's almost like a straight shot here to hit the seven. I mean the three into the seven, which will cut into the four. Um, but I decided that I'll just use a little draw and hit it soft because I don't think the three ball is going to go over the other side of the table anyway. If you would maybe do something a little bit more like that. I didn't expect it to go that far. I almost got, I almost got caught behind the six ball there but I actually have a I actually have a pretty good shot I can see most of the three so I can hit it straight into the seven to make that and uh, here again I gotta control all these balls at once I'm just gonna hit softly and I wasn't really sure exactly where the three ball would end up. I thought it was going to kind of do the same thing it just did on the last shot. Just kind of go up and down. and So, yeah, I don't know why I went so far up with the cue ball there. But it worked out here. Obviously, this is fine. But a little lucky on that. I wasn't really, wasn't really certain exactly how that was going to work. I'm going to take a look at this and try to uh, kind of hit down on the cue ball so that it doesn't follow too much. I just kind of want it to go off the rail and out toward the middle of the table is fine. And as you'll see, it actually comes kind of straight down, almost hits the six ball. actually comes perfect here I mean I wouldn't say perfect because here I really don't have any idea what to do as far as trying to get it back out for the eight ball I mean I can't draw it there's way too much angle but if I follow it's like how do you not go into the nine ball if you follow it off the rail 
and it comes back down. I mean, I could hit it. You know, I got to hit it with top spin. I here I tried going top right to spin it. So you see, I'm hitting. Well, from our perspective, it's the left where I'm shooting from. It's top right. But I thought that it would go straight off the rail and maybe miss the nine or maybe just graze it. But no, it hits it full. So I'm just wondering, like, what was I supposed to do there? Just use top left and go two rails all the way around for the eight or something? I mean, that's just... How can... Such a seemingly easy shot and easy leave be like something that I really didn't know what to do with. I, didn't, I guess I didn't want to risk like trying to do something too wild with it because I mean I didn't know it was going to you know hit the nine full I thought you know maybe it would just graze it or hit off it and maybe just <laughs> fall in front of the eight possibly I didn't want to like I don't know I didn't want to like shoot myself in the foot but here I'm just um, I'm just gonna bank it into the side a little draw to kind of just leave it there for the nine and uh, that's a nice shot I just this one is a little tough I haven't been having a whole lot of confidence with my shooting lately like I miss makeable shots like this on the regular or I just am not feeling it my aim is off or my my feel is off or something I mean sometimes I'll make really amazing shots but then I'll miss really easy shots or I'll miss like somewhat easy shots, you know, makeable shots. You know, this is pretty makeable, but it almost misses, goes kind of off the point of the side. But I made it, so I guess I can't complain, you know. It's a done deal.